My metamorphosis continues. Such bravery will live on in me. Fuel our evolution. Your memories. I want more. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play the AP version of Bellbath. I have shown the AD version in my previous video, but the AP one was also requested, so I'm going to show it now. Same thing, you want to start with your Q still, because otherwise it's going to be really difficult to clear out the jungle camps with. Remember, you can only dash in one direction once, and then it goes on cooldown. But we start with the Q, but we're going to max out the W, because that has insane AP scaling. 1Q, 2 auto attacks, then Q again, 2 auto attacks, and so on. That's how we clear it out. The early clear is not that good, as I said. Because she's a late game hyper carry, so it's pretty normal that the early game is going to be weak. In most cases. Lining up the walls, 2 auto attacks, then Q through. Make sure that your Q hits all of the walls. Sometimes you will end up missing some, but. If possible, try to hit all of them at once. Then we take the E, of course the damage reduction, but it also deals a lot of damage and heals you for a lot because you get lifesteal and it also focuses the lowest HP target, so it can also help you clear out the camps a lot faster. Then I'm gonna do the red buff and then I'll usually look for a gang or contest the skull crab. A lot of matchups you don't win early on, so be careful of that, because, as I said, she's a scaling champion. Q in each direction. You can see in the Q ability icon, when each Q in the direction is ready, or you can look at the um, champion, because there's going to be arrows displaying it. And this icon up here also displays it, so they just wanted to make it as easy as possible for you to see when each Q is ready. So knock it up with a W, then the shield is gone, and I'm gonna smite it if the jungler comes. The last nope, and then we can look for a gank. So when you want to gank, because your W is going to reset the Q in that direction, you want to Q in first, then you press W, because then that Q is going to be ready again. Also, you cannot dash over walls with your Q, that only works when you transformed. So when you got level 6 and you picked up an ultimate stack and transform, that's when you can do it. No ganking available, so we just go ahead and farm. Remember, it's going to be W max on the AP version. You always want to start with your Q, no matter which build you're going for. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare trying to play out the camp. So I'm going to look for another gank here. Oh, which way is this guy going? Oh, what? That's a dead Yone, pretty sure. Well, he does not need me, so we'll just go ahead and reset. First item on this AP version is going to be the Nashas. So, no matter which build you're going for, AD or AP, you always want to get attack speed. That is because this champion relies a lot on auto attacking, and you get so much attack speed from the passer as well, so you want to get some on hit in. Also because your ultimate passive makes you deal true damage. So attack speed on hit is crucial no matter which build you're going for. Usually you want to farm up so you get the passive stacks, you won't know the permanent attack speed you get from the passive from killing monster camps and enemy champions. So if you can get level 6 ASAP and then maybe take down a dragon, enemy champion, Rift Herald. Then you can get the ultimate transformation, and then you become a champion again. Until that, you're pretty much just a cannon minion. We can look for a gang bot lane. I'll see if we can make stuff happen. Again, it is W max, not Q on the AP version. Keep that in mind. This might be warded, based on how they're just backing off. It is indeed. Yes, so one guy down, we can go for this guy as well. Has been 
Oh, these guys are so greedy to get the kills. But always Q in, guys. Always Q in when you gank, because then it's going to reset your next Q. They're actually joining both kills, but it's fine. If they're winning lane, I don't mind. Using the E to heal back up also gives you 70% damage reduction. That is nuts. It does not work against true damage, so that's really important to know. If I had level 6 right now, it would have spawned this ultimate stack that I could pick up so I could transform. But I'm level 5, so yeah. Focus on farming, because it's a scaling champion. More passive stacks on this one. Instead you get a lot more permanent attack speed. Because this champion does not get attack speed as she levels up. The only way you get attack speed through items or through the passive stacks. And this can just keep stacking up. Same thing with the true damage on the ultimate passive. So when you keep auto attacking the same target, this true damage is just going to keep stacking up. Like there is no cap, it just keeps stacking up. So the longer you stay in fight, the more damage, the more true damage you're going to deal. So anyone you're trying to fight, you can absolutely shred them. You have a chance with this champion. Back to farming so I can get level 6. Dash through all of the monster camps because it deals every damage to everything it passes through. And got the ultimate up, so now we need to find a kill. Or take away one of the big... Monster camps. Nice. Now you just press your ultimate, bam, and you can pick it up. And now you are a champion. I'm pretty low HP right here because I tanked a lot of tower shots. So hopefully J4 is not at my rip off right now. But now is when you get a ton of stacks. Now is when you become a champion. But with this AP build, you still need a couple items before you really start. You know, doing stuff. Hopefully J4 is not here. That would be a disaster. Because I need the healing from the rip off. And now you can also dash over the walls. But my Q in that direction is not ready. So I had to take this one. But now that you are transformed. You can actually dash over walls. So that also makes you a lot more mobile. Look at the healing early on in the game. It's actually pretty strong. And it is going to get better from here. Coming up. Can we look for it? Oh, that's the J4. Oh, he actually tried to dive. Maybe I should not have showed myself, but I also did not know he was here. And this ultimate expires after 60 seconds on enemy champions, but if you get the ultimate stack from the Rift Herald or the Baron, for example, it's going to last 180 seconds, and on top of that, Rift Herald and Baron stacks are enhanced ones, meaning that when minions nearby die, they're going to spawn small voidlings that will help you. Basically like Malta has voidlings. They're gonna tank tower shots and they also help you siege. I'm coming this way, he's gonna alter. Do I lux? Oh no, that's done. They're gonna be in a kill. Survive. Nice. There is some fighting going on in the bot lane. They're nice and they're winning it seems like. We shall just keep farming up. They're winning indeed. So that was worth it that they got the kills. What do we do now? We're gonna do the Herald. Or we can gang top lane. I think I might look for a gang top. He might have seen him, see me, he might not. Go for it. He's gonna dash backwards, no? He's not. Bro, I am not getting any kills at all. They're just last hitting with the uh, ultimates and whatever they have, but that's fine. We got a transformation, then we're gonna do the Herald. Hopefully. I'm gonna dash in here so this vision thingy does not spot me. Remember, the Herald 
And the Baron ultimate stack is a lot stronger than if you get it from a champion. First of all, it lasts longer. And you also get that Void Link bonus. And this C just starts shredding people later on. It is not only used for damage reduction, it actually deals a lot of damage. I'm gonna pick up the ultimate stack once again. It is going to reset the ultimate. Can put down the Herald mid because the first Herald is important because the tower plates are up. So you can get a lot of gold if you use the Herald well. Oh, it's the J4. Oh, he's gonna go for the Lux, okay. I missed the W, so just backed off. Oh, that's a lot of damage, man, as well. That could have been so nice. Also, the AP version doesn't deal that much damage early on. But you need the items to skill up. I'm gonna try to turn this into a break. Using that E to heal back up. You can use it later on, like when the monster camp is low HP, because then it deals more damage. There's no way this is worth it. Anyone wants to help or no? I guess not. I just smite it early and pray that they don't randomly steal it. Oh, that's a low HP day 4. Will I get my first kill here? Oh no. I will indeed. Resetting the ultimate again. Just pick it up. Even if you have the ultimate up, just pick up the ultimate stack, guys. There's no reason to not to. Picking up once again. Because also, when you pick up the ultimate stack, you're gonna heal on top of resetting it. I need to get out of here. That's a long range champion in the mid lane that we don't want to mess with. If he has his ultimate up, then rip. All my camps are almost up. I'll just go ahead and reset. Nice tooth. Then you get Gintus. Then you get Rift Mega. And then you go into stuff like the Death Cap and whatever else you need. So they have a lot of AD sources. So I'll just go for this. And then it has to be the Gintus. Because on hit is such a huge part of this champion that you have to get it. Even if you're going AP. Oh wow, they survived. Somehow. Maybe J4 does not have his ultimate up. The attack speed is a lot better right now, but it's going to get way better later on. Still do focus on farming up. And when you try to fight, always make sure, if possible, that your ultimate is up. Without that ultimate, you are unfortunately not able to do much, guys. Okay, J4 with the shutdown, that's fine. Like, there is no one on the enemy team who can 1 versus 1 this champion. There is no one. Her DPS is nuts. Like, it is insane, and it scales infinitely. So even something like a Masti who can destroy you early on, you can actually destroy him late game. Like, you can destroy him late game. Because you have so much true damage and insane attack speed that just stacks up permanently. Come on, chickens. Give me those chickens. Focus on farming as well. We just keep stacking out the passive. We have 45 stacks. 35% bonus attack speed. Rip Darius, I guess. So I don't have the ultimate transformation available right now, so my damage is actually pretty awful. Hopefully he does not have... Bam. E damage reduction against a target that does not have true damage. They're going to deal zero damage, I'm gonna freeze this for him. 
Then I'll head back to farm, cause no monster camps are up right now. We got two drakes and we also got the herald. Hopefully they don't FF, cause then I cannot show the full build. But I have showed it at the start of the video, so... Yeah, and this was also requested that people wanted to see the AP build with build. Cause there are a lot of bad builds out there. I've seen something like full AP with no attack speed, but the problem is that you don't, if you don't have on hit and stuff, the ultimate passive, it takes a while for it to stack up. Ultimate's gonna run out. I'm gonna push out the mid, mid side. And the Drake is about to spawn really soon. I almost have enough gold for this one as well. But the Red Smite actually makes it even more OP in a 1 versus 1. That just makes a 1 versus 1 way strong as well. Even though it is already strong to begin with. I take the Drake right now. I can. Sh I, I think I'm just gonna reset. As I can get the Ginsus, that's a big spike. That's an important spike. Now that we have this, we got the attack speed we need. And the on hit on top of that. Now just go into stuff like the Rift Mega. Even more true damage. The auto attacks already deal true damage on every second auto attack with the ultimate passive. But now abilities as well and stuff. Also your ultimate, every single time you pick it up, that AoE damage scales off of AP. Like it scales off of AP, that's insane. So that is true damage every single time that explosion comes off. When you pick up an ultimate stack, that's going to be true damage and that scales off of HP. And that damage gets increased even further when... Wait, J4? Hello there. Well, hello there. I guess scales off of the missing health. That's just more and more damage. Picking that up as well, gonna heal up. Um, support. And AD carry. Are they like queuing together or something? I'm just gonna go ahead and invade. So I can take away his rip off as well. We can see this champion is starting to come online. The attack speed is a lot better, I should have this stacked up. Oh, that's a Serath. You can dash our walls when you have the ultimate transformation. Picking this up. Look at the damage, look at the damage. And then healing back up. And then picking up another ultimate stack and just gonna heal back up. This is so hard to play against man, especially if they have a melee heavy team composition, that's why she's gonna become so strong. Against team composition, they cannot kite her as easily. And then you also have the damage reduction with your E that also heals you back up. You can look for the dive on this guy. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. You can also cancel your, what's it called, your E if you recast it. Don't need to flash it luckily. Take this one. Let's get out of here. And we are fine. We need to watch top lane as well. We can take this guy down. Damage reduction on the E. And he's going down. And then we just keep picking up the ultimate stack. Just keep picking it up, even if you already have ultimate stacks, just keep picking it up. Because you heal and you reset the ultimate duration, so there's no reason to not pick it up. Insane DPS. Now we're going to Rift Mega. 
because it's the AP build, so Rift Maker, and then into something like a Death Cap or whatever AP item you need. We don't need to refill that anymore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a Control Ward. How's it looking so far? Darius is also starting to do well now. Gonna clean this up. When you keep attacking the same target, guys, that true damage is going to stack up. That is also infinite stacking. So it's going to be really fun against a tank or something. I don't ultimate expired, so I need to stack it up again. Hold your name. No, he's not. You're not gonna fight? Well, as I said, you want to have your ultimate out if possible before fighting. Otherwise, you're not really a champion. There's a J4 up there. Just need somebody to land a CC or anything and we're gonna shred them. Okay, they missed the ultimates. Ooh, ooh, okay, oh la la, okay. Bring up the ultimate here. True damage if they're standing inside that zone. Just keeping it up. Okay, there's a flash down. Then pick this ultimate up as well, and we just keep going ham. Do we end it right now? Actually, I want to show the full build. It's not ended. Guys, it's not end. I can actually show you guys the full build. So now you have the Rift Mega. Next item, completely situational from now on and onwards. These are the core items that you get every single game on this version. Next, I am going to go for the Death Cap. So... You have 125% AP scaling and on the ultimate that's 100% scaling as well. So raw AP is going to be insane. So now I'm just going to go for the drake so we can reset the ultimate duration, it is about to expire. And also this purple bar some people ask me about, that is your passive, you know, when you use an ability you get stacks of the passive and then when you auto attack you consume them. Every single time I use an ability, this purple bar goes up, and then my ore attacks will consume it. Ping up. He also made once again, and now there is some true damage action here. More true damage. We already had true damage with the ultimate passive. Now we're gonna get it with the Rift Mega as well. Oh, hello, Yone. You know, if you hate playing against Yone, this is a champion that's going to shred him to pieces. E damage reduction, since he doesn't have true damage. I mean, technically, his E is some kind of true damage, but it's not the real type. Look at the attack speed, man. Oh, am I gonna die? Oh, rip. First death. But if you manage to hit people, Every single time you transform that explosion right there, if you manage to hit them, that one scales off of your AP, 100% AP scaling, and the explosion is true damage based on the missing health as well. So that is going to be some crazy damage if you can make sure that people are stacked up. Uh, Lux, question mark? Question mark Renata? Okay, she got executed, so... Not quite sure what we're doing. But the later the game goes, the more fun it is. Look at the attack speed. 103% bonus attack speed so far, and it's gonna keep stacking up. Permanent stacks. You can just use two dashes back to the jungle. Because those are the only two you have forward. And then always remember to farm up, because it's worth it when you get permanent stacks. Also the bonus HP you get inside your ultimate transformation actually makes you really tanky. 
Even though you don't have any tank items, you can still easily end up getting more than 3000 HP. Just by going full damage. So, it is a hyper carry that's also tanky at the same time. We can do the burn right here. I'm gonna let him take the chicken, so I'll take the rip off and then we do the Baron, I think. Now we are level 16 in the late game. Oh, let's take down the Yone then. Gonna ult out. No, oh, he's just gonna die. Now we're gonna do the Baron and look how fast we're gonna shred it. Look at his HP. That's the true damage. Look at how fast it's getting shredded, just for the auto attacks alone. And always pick up the Baron buff. Ultimate stack. I mean, you always pick it up no matter where, because it resets, but now it's going to last 180 seconds, and it's going to spawn the small wildlings. Look at the small one spawning right here. Look at these small wildlings here, they're gonna help you siege, because they're basically small minions, and they also tank the tower shots. So that's actually really really OP, this champion is so fun. I can highly recommend that you try it out. I think she's going to be so OP, when she's released on the official live servers. I'm gonna pick up that ultimate. Oh, I did not managed to pick this one up when J4 died. Shut down. Inhibitor spawned, now we are sitting on the death cap as well. So this ultimate explosion. 700 flat damage and then increased by the missing health and this is all true damage. All of it is true damage. So if you hit like a bunch of squishies, for example if you have a German on your team, he locks down a couple squishies and then you pick up that ultimate, that explosion can actually end up one-shotting all of them. So are these guys going to end it or are we going to stall it further? Oh, I can't come at diff. Well, it looks like it is being stalled. Next item, you just go whatever. You don't need voice stuff because you have true damage. You have a lot of true damage, so that's not needed. You can go for anything else, you know, Sonya's, whatever you need. Maybe even a tank item, that's also fine actually. Tank items are completely fine as well. But you have a lot of API items to choose from. You know, if you struggle gag closing, you can also go for Lion Riz. Or not Lion Riz, but the Rylas, I mean. Because then they just get Permus Load as well. 115 stacks, that's 136% bonus attack speed. And just keeps and keeps stacking up. This champion is so fun to play later on in the game, when you get the items. At this point and onwards, you should be able to shred absolutely everybody in sight. Also, when you fight, make sure that you use abilities as well, because that's going to give you increased attack speed. Oh, hello, Senna. Busy typing. Look at the damage now. Just shred it. And that was how to play the AP version, so I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching as usual, and see you all next time.